Spring is on the way and it's time for softball practice for Quentin Myers. It's unusual for Quentin to run late and he is anxious to get there. He's excited. This year he's the shortstop. He has a new mitt to break in and he's feeling good. Quentin has always been active. Little does he know, today his life is going to change. Things are serious. Quentin is in critical condition. An air ambulance arrived timely at the alarming scene and Quentin is now en route to Sonora Regional Medical Center. His battered body is in need of immediate care. The flight crew monitors his condition and prepares the hospital to act quickly. Life is precious and there is no time to waste. A review of 16,000 events shows that two-thirds of all deep vein thrombosis cases could have been prevented. These dangerous clots often attack when there is trauma. 90% of pulmonary embolisms are thought to originate in the legs. Clearly, Quinton's obvious severe and perilous trauma puts him at risk. The patient has been diagnosed, a major injury, compound fracture to the right femur, surgical repair is imminent. At Sonora Regional Medical Center, the new VTE quality measures are initiated early for Quinton. This means during his immediate course in the emergency room. Care continues for Quinton. The nurse documents in the medication administration record, or the MAR. His IV is now started and medications are given, and lab work is next. Most importantly, VTE preventative measures have been initiated and are now a standard part of his treatment plan. Prophylaxis for VTE is neither complicated nor expensive and is a routine practice at Sonora Regional Medical Center. The new Cerner NHIQM VTE core measures package offers real-time monitoring of VTE prophylaxis utilizing evidence-based best practices and a quality measure dashboard. Core measures should be initiated as soon as possible in the continuum of any patient care. The key to VTE prevention is knowing who is at risk and when to apply the appropriate preventive measures. Cerner's new VTE core measures package is helping Adventist Health achieve this goal. The nurse, following normal workflow, reviews initiated VTE power plans and, as expected, finds that the excellent care has been given and documented, automatically flowing to the quality measures dashboard. As the patient is prepared for surgery, his medical record is reviewed. The new quality measures dashboard is reviewed. Real-time status? Are core measures being met? The quality nurse digs deeper to investigate. Is a measure late? If so, why? The confident medical staff know they can proactively survey, direct, and improve care. This is their job, their passion. What is next for Quinton? Will the emergency surgery be successful? Will his leg ever be the same? Quinton is in good hands, but complications are possible. What lies ahead for Quentin in his hospital course and rehabilitation? 
the highly trained staff are doing all they can to aid in this patient's care, recovery, and prevention of any complication. We all know, in a matter of an instant, everything can change. We have to wait and pray. Quentin's compound fracture has been surgically repaired, but he is not out of the woods just yet. He receives frequent assessment and monitoring by staff. For cases like Quentin's where a quality measure is initiated, normal workflow patterns following the normal documentation process automatically defaults all necessary data into the appropriate locations without duplicative documentation. Real time, right now. As a surgical patient, Quentin is now at even greater risk for deep vein thrombosis. His impaired mobility only further complicates his course and adds greater risk for developing a potentially deadly blood clot. Hi, I'm Dr. VTE Brandon. prophylaxis will be key in prevention of the risk of a fatal pulmonary embolism. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Um, Thank you. I hear this medicine. The post-surgical consultation reinforces that Quentin is in good hands and the VTE risk continues. Today. Even routine vitals by Shauna in her normal workflow of rounds are an opportunity for assessment documentation to flow to the quality measures dashboard for staff review of Quinton. She documents into iView directly. Here again, the quality measures dashboard is monitored, providing real time and right now status of the VTE core measure patient. How are things lining up for Quentin? The quality nurse has identified an empty circle on the dashboard. What does this mean? The empty circle shows there is work that needs to be done. A core measure is not yet met. She knows it is her role to aid in Quentin's recovery by helping to complete core measures before Quentin is discharged and before time runs out to meet this necessary treatment goal. The quality measure dashboard is an excellent tool she uses daily. A concerned hospital executive, Jeff Eller, president and CEO, has heard the news. An air ambulance has transported an Adventist Health employee in critical condition after sustaining major trauma in a horrifying auto accident. He wants to share his concern and offer his support. Meanwhile, a friend has arrived to lift Quentin's spirits. Everyone back at the office is very concerned. While a friendly visit can often be uplifting, Sometimes a well-wisher may get in the way. Quentin needs his anoxaparin injection to reduce the risk of a VTE. This core measure requirement needs to be satisfied, and now. As often happens, care can be delayed due to a variety of factors, like this somewhat overbearing friend. Come on! What the heck is going on? That's... Dan, don't... don't... Oh, won't you take that? Don't. Just relax. Will you just, just sit relax. down? Just relax. Just, just relax. The quality nurse, during review of the quality measure dashboard, notes that a measure for Quentin has not been met. The quality measure dashboard, right at hand with needed information, real time, right now. She sees the red X. She reviews and notes that anticoagulant education has not been completed. A core measure needs to be met, and soon. Quentin is close to discharge and itching to go home. Good thing the visitors <laughs> agreed to come back later, or maybe not. Hey, 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 excuse me, sir, I need to come over with a patient. No, hey, did you see we got him this? The measure is met and documented in the system. Ah, the circle is full. Quentin's treatments have been progressing and things are going well. His leg is healing, he is feeling better, and soon he will be going home. Hi, Mr. Myers. My How name is you? Claire. I'm a dietitian. Hi, Claire. Nice to meet you. I came to talk to you about a medication that you're on called Warfarin, and we want you to be safe on the What a patient. Eager and ready to rehabilitate. He shows the passion and the courage to move forward. 
A fresh and friendly face lends to the patient's spirits, who is eager to learn and try new things. All right, any questions before I go? Hello, Quentin. Hi. Hi, my name is Brian. All right, Brian. if I just come in and visit Our you. mission, that? sharing God's uh, love, physical, mental, and spiritual healing, has touched Quentin. This patient knows he is going to get back in the game. He is not willing to let anything stop him. His mind is set. He has received excellent care and compassion in his healing, physically, mentally, spiritually. Mr. Myers, how are we today? Doctor? Doing a lot better. Good to see Doing you. Doing a lot better. Good to see you, yeah? Thank you. How's yeah. the leg? How's the leg? Oh, it's, it's, it's still sore, but it's, boy, you know what? I, I, I think it's going to be okay, yeah. you know? How's kind the pain? Not bad. You know, the drugs are great, but, uh, you know, I was walking down the hall a little earlier, yeah. and, you know, I could put some weight on it, and I'm pretty optimistic about it. Physical therapist came up and saw you. Yeah. Good, yeah. good, good. Yeah, I think we're going to be okay. I'm just itching to get out of here. Yeah. Well, yeah, take a look. I'm ready take a look. to go, man. Let's take a look. I'm ready to go, man. Let's take a look real quick here. Well, the quality measures look pretty good. good. Looks like things are coming along and healing. You even talked to uh, the uh, dietitian about your thing for you. Uh, the right thing for you. I know, I know, but like you, it's hard. But you know what? I'm going to do it because I'm going to get back at this. Good, good. Glad I'm you got to get back at it. Because I want to play softball with the Evans Health team. Probably not this season, but next year I'm going to be there. Sounds good. Well, I'm going to want to see a follow-up in my office, okay? Okay. All right. Uh, I'll have some more instructions for you. Just so Things are looking good. Quentin is close to discharge. The quality measures have been completed. The doctor is ready to discharge the patient. His hospital course has gone very well. He is healing and ready to go home. Education and reinforcement are offered at discharge and will continue with follow-up. Our patient Quentin was not only lucky enough to survive this horrifying accident, but also received the benefit of Cerner's VTE Core Measures Package. The result? Outstanding high quality care at the Sonora Regional Medical Center and a new road for Quentin. Along with seamless care delivery, the hospital was also able to meet its core measure goals, real-time reports, and core measures met.